Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I forgot to film an intro for this video. It's just a get ready with me while I'm chatting about James Charles, Laura Lee, all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, I forgot to film an intro. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. My light, my light, is plugged into the wall and it's buzzing. So that's like slightly concerning, but um, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. We're just gonna be dealing with this ring lighting, lighting situation and there's buzzing coming from the power point. So, sorry if you can hear that. I'm gonna be filming a few videos today while I can because I filmed a bunch of videos sorry for my appearance by the way let's not talk about it but I filmed a bunch of videos and can't use them because they won't show up on my computer so I can't edit them so I can't upload them so now I need to film more videos even though I had four pre-recorded it's fine, everything's fine we're gonna be fine I figured I would just do a get ready with me so we can talk, chat, you know, whatever. Um, or I can talk to myself to a camera, that too. And yeah, let's just get into it then. First I need to put my hair up. It's very curly and messy, but um, I will. So next thing I'm going to do is brush my teeth. But I have to tear apart my whole setup because I just realised I was balancing stuff on the toothpaste bottle. So I'm going to have to tear this apart. Be right back. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to put some lip balm on. Now, base makeup. Start off with this. As per usual. I think I'm going to do like a, like a foundation. I'm mainly going to do concealer because I can't be bothered. And I don't want to feel cakey. So I'm going to do concealer. I'll do foundation on my cheeks so that the bronzer has something to stick to. I'm not going to do primer or anything either just because it's just a lazy day. Nothing's going to be perfect. I have hair all over me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just mm, probably should start with this monstrosity. Oh my god, I look so pretty. Um, Y6 from Morphe, nearly M6 from Morphe. If anybody wondering. Oh, and obviously, you can probably tell by the packaging tart shape tape in Fair Neutral. Yeah, Fair Neutral. What can I talk about? filmed a um a get unready with me last week and I talked about a bunch of stuff and if I do find a way to get that onto my laptop I don't want to be talking about the same stuff you know so yeah I don't know when I'm uploading this video but at the moment 
this whole James Charles versus Tati crap is hardcore and going on at the moment. Not that anyone cares, but my opinions on it all, it's so dumb. Like, I get really frustrated if anyone knows about or remembers the whole Laura Lee thing that happened last year. Was it last year? I'm not quite sure. It might have been the year before. I don't really remember. But that really annoyed me. And oh, this is where people get angry at you because you're talking about Let's touch base on the Laura Lee stuff first. So it all kind of makes sense as to why I have the opinion I do about the James Charles crap. But um, so when the Laura Lee thing came out, I've been a fan of Laura Lee for, I don't even know, years. And I love her so much. So when this crap came out about her several years ago, like years and years ago, saying all that like, granted it was like not nice things that she tweeted and whatnot but it really frustrated me when I read those things and maybe this sounds bad and everything but if I think back to that those sort of years growing up in those sort of years those tweets would have been funny I know a lot of people like to argue with that and say, you know, blah, 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 it's never funny to do this, this, and this, and blah, blah. But back then, a few years ago, back then, they were funny because rude jokes like that were funny. So when I read them, obviously now, I didn't find them funny. But back then, if I had read them, yeah, I would have laughed. Sue me for, you know, laughing at something that was funny back then isn't now to make that clear it's not funny now was back then everyone had very almost dark humor back then and i get really pissed off at the people that were just like that was never funny it wasn't even funny back then. when the fuck were you born because i was alive back then and yes it was funny and i know it's not right i'm not saying that what she did was right but my family would make jokes like that all the time as well and it wasn't until you know like a year or two after that that it started getting very popular is that the right word to be against all that instead of for all that so back then i know i hate to say this but it actually really was okay and it's really frustrating when people obviously can't remember those times and it's several years later. First of all, oops, I want to know who the hell was digging that deep into her feed to find those because like, get a life. And second of all, all these people, like I said, all these people that are saying there was never a time where any of that was funny. Really need to do their research and grow up and stop thinking that they're always right. Because if you were to get in some sort of time machine and go back to then, shit yeah, that would have been funny. Like, <laughs> it's not good. But it's really popular nowadays to self-deprecate and put yourself down and that's all dark humor and that's all shit that we see and we think it's okay we think it's funny when people are making fun of themselves why i don't know you tell me but in a few years time it's not going to be okay and there's going to be some other big scandal happening and someone's going to come out and say it was never funny to self-deprecate and I wait for that day to happen so someone can look back on this video when I'm talking about it and realise we go through phases where jokes about certain things are funny. Those phases end and they become serious and it's not funny anymore. And I get that. It doesn't mean back however many years ago it wasn't funny. Because it was. 
and it's really frustrating because I don't know how many times I've said this in the past however many minutes this has been going on for but it's really frustrating when you have the know-it-all say it was never fun <laughs> if you could go back in a time machine you realize yeah it actually was funny back then it was really common to have those sort of jokes be said and the amount of people that would say those kind of jokes that didn't have a following and it was hilarious and everyone would agree blah 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 the second someone has a following and says something like that it's not okay why why is that why why because there's more people that are going to get offended like what happened when you see something and there's per a person with not like maybe a friend or something and they don't have as big of a following and you see something and you don't like it and you tend to just not like the post and just keep scrolling because maybe it offended you and you didn't want to like something that wasn't morally okay in your books. But now, no, 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 if you don't like something, you have to comment on it and bash the person and do this, that and the other instead of just scrolling and being like, oh, I don't like that. Keep scrolling. What's your problem? Why do you have to stop and give them the light of day? You're wasting your time and their time. Just, oh, that ticks me off. As you can probably tell, because I'm getting passionate. And also, there's nobody home, so I feel like I can actually talk loudly for once. Whereas in all my other videos, my brothers and parents and stuff are home, and I'm just like whispering all the time because like, I don't want to disturb them because I'm a good daughter and sister. I don't want to disturb their days by yelling at a camera. <laughs> but right now, I can actually express how I feel and be passionate about it like the way I want to be. That Laura Lee shit was bullshit. Oh my god, people make mistakes. But the second you make a mistake in a public eye, <laughs> all hell breaks loose and is the dumbest thing ever. I'm all for people making mistakes and learning and growing from them. You have to learn and grow somehow and you will not do that unless you make mistakes. The only way you kind of learn is by making mistakes. So you go like, oh, you know, I, I messed up. I know not to do that next time or I know to do this next time instead. You have to make mistakes in order to learn. You have to make mistakes in order to be human. It is so human to make mistakes and it is so incredibly okay to mess up every now and then. Because I know you watching this, you make plenty of mistakes, but you're not in the public eye, are you? So you don't get your mistakes blasted all over the internet for everyone else to judge. But you think it's okay to comment on other people's mistakes and tell them how much of a fuck up they are. Tell me why that's okay. Tell me. Because I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll be here. I'll be waiting. Tell me why that's okay. Rimmel London Perfect Match Foundation. In the shade, I would guess like ivory or something. No, they're porcelain. I'll let you think about that while I'm applying the foundation to my cheeks and neck. Okay, so like I said, the world goes through phases of different types of dark humour being funny. Okay, a few years ago we went through a phase where, I don't want to say this because it's obviously controversial, but we did go through a phase where what Laura Lee said was comical. Sue me. Hate on me for saying that. Hate on me for being honest and open with you and remembering the times that were a few years ago because clearly everyone else doesn't remember. So let me inform you that back then it was funny. Yes, the world goes through phases where different dark humour is funny. Get over it. Oh my God. Trends go in and out, you know? Not everything is trendy 100% of the time. Trends fade in and out with time. So yes, those sort of tweets would not be funny now. And they're not funny now. I get that. But the fact that someone 
scrolled all the way back to several years ago to find that tweet, those tweets, and use it against her now when it's not funny, when it just so happens that that trend is no longer a thing and no longer funny, and just pin it on her now is ridiculous. Grow up. Honestly, oh, this gets me so heated. Chi Chi highlighting and contouring palette, using that one, and just kind of setting my neck. So now, while self deprecating is funny and trendy and also very bad for your mental health, but while that's comical at the moment, that's gonna go out in a few years, if not a few months. We don't know the time span of when it's gonna go out, but it's gonna go out because it's not okay. So if you're not realizing that now, then that's not okay in itself because self-deprecating is not not something that we should be laughing at. Someone called themselves fat, haha, <laughs> so funny. It's not something we should be laughing at, but we do, okay? We do, at the end of the day, we do. So, oh well. But when that goes out of trend and someone's gonna bring back tweets from when self-deprecating was a thing, that's gonna be a whole other thing you watch and it's gonna be the dumbest thing in the world. Just like the Laura Lee thing was. Using a Morphe M439 brush, same shade, and just kind of making sure it's set. Uh, setting my face so now that you understand that I found that whole Laura League bullshit bullshit you'd understand why I find this whole James Charles scandal also bullshit because people make mistakes and you know what's really funny to me all this um trying to turn straight people gay no it's not okay and i'm not saying that and i'll never say that but it's just really interesting to me he's been doing that for a long time and publicly speaking about it for a long time and everyone found it funny but the second tati makes a video about it it's not funny anymore because people realize what they were laughing at unbelievable it's so dumb a few months ago he was still public about it there was never a point where he wasn't public about what he was doing and it was funny and trendy back then to be laughing with James Charles and everything was James Charles this and James Charles that because he was popping and everything he did was funny no one really thought in depth about what he was actually doing so it was just all funny you know and the second that someone points out that morally it's not okay, you all realize why it wasn't okay. And you all realize what you had been laughing at. And then you go and hate on him. Even though you were the one laughing at it a few months ago. What the heck? The world is actually mm -hmm. so dumb. So dumb. And there's gonna be so many people that are just thinking, I never laughed at it. Yeah, good for you, goody two shoes. Okay, good for you, move on, goodbye. There is gonna be so many people that watch this and just hate me for it. But then there's gonna be a few good people that realize what I'm saying has a point and is valid. And they're gonna be like, oh, never thought of it that way. And I'm gonna be able to change the point of view of a few people. And for those few people, Thank you for understanding where I'm coming from and for all the other people, you can go elsewhere. Thank you, next, goodbye. This video is for the open-minded people that realize not everybody's perspective is the same and not everybody's perspective is right or wrong. Everyone's gonna have different points of view and for the open-minded people out there, they'll realise that and be like, oh, I see where they're coming from, but I also see where these people are coming from. That's fine. You can see where this, that and the other are coming from. That's fine. That's good. But the people that put down other people's perspectives and point of views and opinions, get 
out, honestly. Everyone's allowed to voice their opinion. Everyone's voice should be heard. So if you're going to argue with that, please be gone. I'm sorry that I seem so negative and angry. It's because I'm passionate about it. But, you know, you do you. You do you. But you do not need to comment on it. So goodbye. Also, I've been using the yellow shade under my eyes with the Beauty Blender to kind of brighten because um, girl's not getting that much sleep. Whilst I love both Tati and James, whew, I'm going to get so much backlash for just saying that, aren't I? Um, I've been watching Tati for a lot longer than I've been watching James and I've always, always, always thought that Tati deserved so much more recognition for the time and effort she puts into her videos. So whilst I am so incredibly glad and happy that she is gaining the recognition she deserves and the amount of followers, you know, like she's up to like 4 million followers or whatever, that's amazing and I'm really happy about that. But the reason behind it, I'm not for that. The reason of it being trendy to bash James Charles and just unsubscribe and subscribe to Tati I just really wonder why people can't grow up. Anyways, so I don't think it's trendy to bash shame Charles and I don't think it's trendy to unsubscribe and then go over and subscribe to Tati because I'm still subscribed to them both and have been for a long time. I'm not unsubscribing from James Charles because I know that he's made a few mistakes. God forbid that the kid is 19 and makes a few mistakes. Oh no, big shocker. See the difference? It's because it's in the public eye. So, granted, while everyone is entitled to their own opinions, it does not mean that you have to bash someone because your opinion is different to theirs. Did we ever think about that? No, probably not. Also using, sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting, I'm using 8 and 5 from the same palette. I kind of mix them together because I don't really know which one's better, so mixing. But yeah, like I said, I don't think it's trendy to bash someone because that's pathetic and disgusting. It is never, in my books, going to be trendy to hate on someone because, like I just said, that is disgusting. That's absolutely ridiculous. You can not like someone as much as you like. Do you have to bash them for it? Do you have to bash them for it publicly? Do you have to name call and be petty and insecure about it? No. Jesus. You can keep it to yourself and mind your own goddamn business and stop putting your nose where it doesn't belong. That's fine. I just don't get this crap. That's what it is. It's just all crap. And hate on me as much as you like because honestly I don't care but <laughs> one day this is gonna happen again it's gonna happen again numerous times because the world's fucked up but one day it's gonna happen again and that person's gonna kill themselves over it and then how are you gonna feel are you gonna be happy that you contributed to that or are you gonna feel regretful and feel sorry and wish you could take it all back you let me know you let me know how that would make you feel if you bashed someone to no end and they ended their lives because of it let me know how that'd make you feel yeah maybe you're watching this and you're like that's a bit dramatic is it is it would you like me to put up the statistic of suicides is it really dramatic i don't think so because it's real and it's happening so, <laughs> and that leads me on to my next topic. I have many a times because I, in 2015, got diagnosed with depression. So, I do get depressed sometimes. Sometimes it comes back. No, it's not a fun time at all. But some days are harder than others. Just like any other person, some days are harder than, than others, sorry. Not 
every day is a good day. And that's okay because it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be okay 100% of the time. It's okay to have your bad days and your off days. You know? And some days it just hits me and I have no idea where it come where it comes from. And that's just the reality of it. Some days it's going to hit you and it won't stem from anywhere. There'll be no trigger. It just hits you. And I have those days and because I don't know where it's coming from, that is so incredibly uneven, let me fix that. Because I don't know where it's coming from, I get really confused on those days. Still not even. Oh my gosh. Is my face uneven? I don't know, I see what's going on. I went from, oh, I went straight from here. That should be. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better. That's what we're dealing with. It's close enough, okay? Anyways, moving on. Some days I do get confused as to why it's happening on that day because I didn't have a trigger or anything. I'll get confused and I will publicly reach out and ask someone please talk to me because they can be kind of scary on those days because you think some thoughts that you didn't really think would have be coming back and you didn't think you'd be thinking about those things ever again but you do so sometimes you have people that don't like to reach out at all which is fine but like also not fine please reach out um and then you have people that do like to reach out i'm in between some days i don't want to talk to anyone and other days i'm confused and a mess and i want to know what's going on so i want to be able to talk to someone and just vent because it's healthy to have a nice vent every now and then and sometimes when I publicly reach out, I will see the hundreds of people that view me publicly reaching out for help and no one will help. No one will get back to me. No one will ask me if I'm okay. Granted, I'm disregarding about three people right now that actually do and thank you, you know who you are. But everyone else, the hundreds of people, I'll see names on that list that I would never have picked to just ignore what I said. You know, you see people on there and you thought you were really close to them or you thought they were really good people that were willing to help at any point and you see their name on that list of people that ignored you. People that ignored you reaching out for help. It's unreal the amount of fake people we have everywhere, everywhere around us unreal like actually disgusting and because of this happening I started to realize that because I don't really see many people publicly reaching out but when I do I'm more inclined to ask them hey I know we're not close or anything like that but are you okay and just the world of difference that it makes for someone that you're not really close with or don't really know to reach out to you to make sure you're okay versus the people that you expect to that don't is so incredibly amazing because it can really make a difference in someone's day. So lately what I've been doing is even if you don't publicly reach out but I see subtle little signs that you might not be okay, I'll reach out to you I'll pick you up, I'll let you know like, hey, I'm here if you need anything, are you okay? And I've been realising how impactful just that alone really is. Because I've probably done that to, uh, I don't know, at least 20 people within the past year. Um, and I know there was about three or four people that I know and knew hated me, hated my guts. But when I see something on their socials that makes me think um, they don't look mentally stable, I think they need some help and I reach out to those people, granted knowing that they hate me and I just let them know, you know, like, it's fine, maybe we're not cool and maybe you do hate me, but I'm still here for you because mental health is important. So, 
I did that with about three or four people last year, the year before, I can't remember. And it just really goes to show that hate is so pathetic and useless and time wasting because I had every single one of those people thank me for reaching out and thank me for helping them and it really showed me that there was so much time wasted on just being spiteful and negative and nasty and hateful when there could have been so much time building these people up because what they were going through behind the scenes was painful and I know we talk about bullies and how we hate bullies, blah, 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 blah. Bullies should be reached out to though. Because for them to bully in the first place, they have to have something bad going on behind the scenes in the first place to put that negative energy back into someone else because they don't want it. They should be reached out to and made sure they're okay. And once they're made okay and everything's kind of calm for a while, Nine times out of ten, they're not going to bully you anymore because what comes around goes around. And if we're receiving bad negative energy, we're going to put out bad negative energy. It's just what happens. I know you've probably heard that a few times before. I'm not even doing my makeup at this point. You've probably heard that a few times before and thought, you know, like, yeah, whatever. It's for all the people that are like ditzy and believe in energy, blah, blah. All that bullshit, that's so annoying. Um, and yeah, you don't really think about if it's true or not. And you don't really think about, hey, like, maybe that isn't just some sort of weird thing that people think. It's actually kind of real. It is real, okay? I'm going into the 35B palette from Morby. Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to see. It's probably going to turn out horrible because I don't think I've ever actually used that palette my whole eyes and I don't know what I'm doing but we're gonna figure that out together anyways back to what I was saying is this yep whoops not that one it's so true that you should put out what you want to receive back and I know some people call that bullshit I used to be one of those people I'm not gonna lie to you I'm gonna be honest with you I used to be one of those people and I never really believed that because I was depressed <laughs> when I was told that and I didn't want to believe that because I couldn't at the time give out positive energy because I was so caught up in my own emotional trauma that I had nothing positive to share. So yeah, I didn't used to believe that. It's not until a few years later now that I'm getting better, I guess, on some days and other days, you know, like I said, are hard, but like I'm getting better. Um and able to cope with things and you know all that sort of stuff that I realized that is actually so true because I this is a weird example and I talked to my friend about this yesterday I had yesterday a weird dream about a teacher granted I'm a graduated high school I don't know why I'm still thinking about high school but I was thinking about this one thing that really stuck with me Again, really random. It really stuck with me though, and it's always kind of gonna be in my memory, and it happened again in my dream. So that wasn't fun, because it wasn't a fun thing to remember. But um, basically what happened was, I was in roll call, and my teacher, I don't remember his name, I don't remember much about him, I kind of vaguely remember what he looks like, and I had blonde, longish hair, that kind of looked like a surfer dude looks very Australian, um, did woodwork and everything, he was my roll call teacher. And anyone in my roll call watching this would know who I'm talking about, I just don't remember his name. And I remember being late to roll call one time, um, cause traffic, and he asked me for my name. This guy has been my roll call teacher for several months, so when I said Talia, and he looked at me, I figured he'd know me by now. You've had several months to figure out who your roll call class is. Okay, you know, let's just put that out there. Just, you know, he should know me by now. Whatever, he doesn't, whatever. Um, 
So when I said Talia, and he turned back to me with the nastiest look on his face and had the audacity to yell at me and say, I don't care what your first name is, I need your last name. I'm not going through this list looking for your first name. What the heck had to happen to you for you to think it's okay to talk so down on me because I didn't give you my last name? The amount of energy it would have taken you to just say last name too, please, was far less than the energy it took you to be a negative Nancy and go off on me because I didn't give you my last name when you should know me by now. What the fuck? Naturally, I was a bit snarky back and I gave him my last name, but I didn't do it without being snarky back. And because I had that dream and I woke up and I thought about it and I was like, you know, like, it's a weird time to be dreaming about this. It wasn't and it all started to make sense because that's when I realized that whole you should put out what you want to was so perfectly relevant in that case that it was kind of the right time to have that dream because it made me have all this realization about this James Charles bullshit and the amount of people that are hating on him are putting out bad energy they're gonna get back bad energy and gonna complain about it you watch the amount of people that are gonna have their days be bad and gloomy and whatever because they're hating on other people they're gonna complain about having bad days but it doesn't make sense does it so oh I should probably tell you what I've been putting on my eyes this whole time and just layering for no reason is this one yes this one so you can't really tell there we go that one yeah so incredibly true because he got angry at me when I was snarky back. I'll let you just sit there for a minute and think about that. He got angry at me when I was snarky back. Okay, cool. Are you done sitting there wondering why I let you think about that? Probably. So the reason I let you think about that is because, going into this shade now, is because teachers do that every single day when there's students at school that are getting yelled at by their teachers and then they give an attitude back and then they get yelled at more because how dare you give a teacher an attitude? Let's just think about the fact that every single day, teachers, people of authority, parents, whoever, just in general, people of authority, think because they're people of authority, that they must be treated some type of way. Granted, yes, in most cases, yes. But if they're not giving you respect, why the hell should you give them respect? It's a mutual thing. Respect, it's a mutual thing. So when someone's not showing you respect and you don't show it back and they get angry at you for not showing it back, why is that okay? Why is that okay? But it goes both ways. For the students in the class, that are being disrespectful to their teachers so their teachers get angry and are not respectful back and then the students get angry at the teachers again for being rude and annoying teachers and I hate you this that and the other it's not okay that you weren't showing respect in the first place either okay I'm not just pinning this on teachers I'm pinning this on students too it's just what goes around comes around if you're not showing respect don't expect respect it's as simple as that but more so, I was shocked thinking back to my high school life and the amount of times that a student could do something so little as just laugh at a friend's joke and the teacher would go off their nut 
because you were being so disrespectful, you laughed at something. But you were being so disrespectful, sookie la la teachers. But if you show the slightest bit of retaliation when they get angry at you, all hell breaks loose, go to the principal's office, leave my class. Because that makes sense. Thank you, teachers. You really know how to show us how to have respect. I could elaborate on that much further, but I'm going to leave it very blunt and almost unexplained for you to kind of discover on your own terms. Because I haven't found a perfect way to say it all, everything that I want to say about that. Once I do, I might make a video about it. But right now, it all makes sense in my head, and when I try and word it, it's not what I'm thinking. So I'll let you kind of play with the wording I gave you and figure out on your own whether you agree or disagree or you think what teachers do is fair or unfair. And the same goes for you if you've been unfair or fair to your teachers. Because it's an open discussion and not everyone's gonna feel the same way about it. But there's just my two cents. So do with that what you will. Next I'm taking the bright yellow shade in the palette and I'm gonna be working that in the in the corner area. You'll see. And just to quickly touch on what I was speaking about before, if you're not understanding why I related it all, that you should put out what you want to receive. I, and about the dream, about the teacher, to relate it all for you, there is something under my eye, I can feel it, it's tickling my face. To relate it all for you, if I had realised back then everything that I was telling you just before, I would have said to that teacher, if you're going to give me a bad attitude, I'm going to give you back a bad attitude. And no, it's not okay if you get angry at me for it, because I should be angry at you for giving me the bad attitude in the first place. I was not rude to you before when you asked what my name was, but you were rude to me when I gave you an answer. So if you couldn't connect those dots earlier, that should probably help you. Um, help you realise at least what I mean by it all. And how if you give someone a bad attitude, you can do nothing but expect a bad attitude back. Sure, there are going to be people that are going to kill other people with kindness. And that's great. You do you. But not everyone is going to have that as their natural instinct. A lot of people, as their natural instinct, are going to retaliate the exact same way. So, there you go. There's connecting those dots for you. Hopefully I made that easier to all think about. Now I'm going in with the bright orange shade. I'm not going to show you because if you just search it up, you'll see the bright orange shade. There's only one bright orange shade. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Granted, I don't know what I'm doing. So if you're wondering why I'm basically covering up that pink shade from before, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on my crease. I don't know. I mean, on my lid. This is my, okay. I'm just kind of going with whatever I feel like at the moment. I'm going to get the bright hot pink shade in the palette and put it on the outer corner, out of me, whatever. Um, I guess it would kind of be similar oof, to James Charles's skip in his palette, but the James Charles palette is in the other room and I cannot be bothered to get it and this will work just as fine, I'm sure, because I'm using the same palette for everything. So 
If you wanted a similar colour, I would say skip. Pigmented. I might need to put some more orange on there. Give that some more back. Oh, I hate how this eyebrow is like further up than my other one. So there's like more lid space here and this looks like nice and lifted and curved and then this is just like a mess. So <laughs> we love that for me. Just kidding, we hate it. Now I'm going to take that shade that I originally took and put it on my lid for now and just kind of see what I want to do with it. I don't know if I like how that looks. Maybe, maybe I should have put a the bright yellow shimmer on my lid. But I can put that in my inner corner, which is what I was going to do originally. Hmm, what do I want to do? I kind of want to do this one, but then also want to do this one. Let's do this one first because it's lighter. Oh, I know what I can do. I can use both. I can do this one on the inner part of the lid and the other one on the outer part. And then I was going to do the yellow on the inner corner. Need to do the blending on the lower lash line. Should I do like a purple? In order to match the outer part of my lid, which you can't tell on camera, or should I not? Open sesame. I'm gonna dip into that bright purple. I think it's the very middle shade of the palette. Just kind of buff it on the lower lash line. down any further because I haven't really connected it properly here so if I bring it down here it won't look right like not here but like if I bring it down more it won't connect up to there so I'll just leave it like that that's fine this is just came up brand fill them in they don't look perfect but nothing really is so oh well can't forget highlight but I need to do mascara no I don't I need to spray my face first Ugh. hopefully that didn't ruin anything it makes me like cry every single night because it's this spritzer thing is like a jet because I didn't check it when I bought it in the shop and it's not what I'm used to because normally it's like an actual proper mist but this one just goes like a little bit here, a little bit there and then go like Phoom. and like you know the thing, the mister on it is broken so <laughs> old go to Ooh, I broke it the other day and I was pretty sad but it doesn't matter favorite it's still blinding the promise ring is more blinding and more quickly with less product so. Probably in the other room. 
So yeah, put some mascara on and call it a day. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I did my makeup. Here's how it looks. Not the greatest, not the worst, so, you know, whatever. It's decent and it will do. I know the topics that we covered were controversial and probably not the smartest to talk about right now, but I am passionate about it and I do find it important. So, you know, quick recap. I think the whole Laura Lee and James Charles stuff is just a bunch of crap that's going to you know, fade away soon, it's not going to be trendy eventually and um, I think people make mistakes, you need to make mistakes to learn and grow from them. So I think all this petty drama is petty and annoying and just so completely useless. I think it's very time wasting and breath wasting, energy wasting, just like such a wasteful thing to just hate people. Hate in general is just so incredibly pathetic and useless and um, in a world full of people preaching to spread more love and positivity are the same people that behind closed doors talk shit about other people. I don't think that's okay. I think that's so incredibly stupid because they're the fake people. Fake people are annoying and useless and just so <laughs> not needed. You know, it's so immature and pathetic to just be so incredibly fake all the time. It's just so unnatural and unneeded just be yourself be nice you know just it's not that hard it's really not if you're going through something don't be afraid to you know get in contact with me i'm more than willing to talk i think it's really important even if you don't know the person or you don't know them well or maybe you had a falling out whatever the situation might be it doesn't matter, put it aside. If you see these people reaching out for help or if you see these subtle signs and you can pick up on them that they're not necessarily okay, do reach out to them. It's really important for people to start reaching out because when people are going through things, not everyone's going to reach out themselves. A lot of people are gonna try and hide it, suppress it, and that's not good. So if you see these signs in other people, do reach out and try and help them. I know it may seem unnecessary and you may assume they're already getting help. That's not always the case. It is really, really helpful and it doesn't take much to just reach out and say, hey, are you okay? Because it can really make a world of difference in their day. It can make their day just to show that you care. Doesn't matter if you don't know them well. Doesn't matter if you had a falling out. Just having someone be there and not acknowledging the fact that someone does care enough to reach out really makes the world of difference trust me so yeah i think that'll be it for today's video um i hope you learnt something maybe you hate me from it that's very wasteful like i said but it's whatever you do you Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I upload videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be aware of those up and coming videos, as well as following me on my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you. And don't forget, everything's going to be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.